Hi everybody, this is Art Samurai and today I'm going to be reacting to Dungeon Meshi episode 5. <clears throat> so last time we had Senshin uh, just teaching everyone about the importance of gardening and farming and just also about uh, what are those things called? Uh, the like the big monsters that he was um, you know getting his vegetables from uh, uh, I don't remember at the moment golems yeah I think they were golems but that was cool uh, but the second half of the episode for me was definitely the most interesting uh, part of the part of that where we saw Senshin and the others going to, what was it, it was like a tavern, so they could, um, uh, what was it, uh, freaking, I just exchange them for, uh, either, like, money or just, like, uh, valuables that they could use on the dungeon, whether it was for food or just, you know, like, weapons or something, I forget. And then they encountered orcs, and then the orcs killed everyone there. Which is, uh, you know, kind of brutal. Honestly, I don't know if they needed to do all that. I understand why they, they feel the way they do. Uh, but it's still maybe a bit of an overkill. Uh, then spe specifically they dislike uh, elves and humans, but mostly elves, and that's how he gets into an argument. Although the chief there of that like village or settlement uh, got into an argument with Marcel, and then they, they just w went back and forth quite a few times. So at least to me, from like an outsider perspective, since we don't really, it's not like we got a full flashback of how things went down. We just got the opinions of those two. It doesn't seem like both of them are, like, it doesn't seem like one of them is either right or wrong. It seems like both of them, uh, like both of their races have done good things and bad things. You know, th depending on how you see it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, it was, you know, uh, Senshin and the others wanted to cook, so they were able to do that, even though they, if they were kind of taken prisoners. Uh, and at first they weren't going to be able to eat that, what they cooked, but then uh, the little kid, the son of the chief, I was like, yeah, no, I'll let them eat as well. So they let them, and they had a... Uh, not a feast, but like just you know all of them eating together and that's kind of you know despite all the arguing and like the bad tension between both groups uh, they, they still were able to uh, talk and interact uh, Politely not necessarily politely, but you know they they were able to just be with each other for a period of time without it escalating to a full violent conflict. And from that, we also saw Laios be able to get the location of the Red Dragon. So, yeah, that's where we left off. Uh, food brings people together. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do miracles, but, you know, I, 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 it is a bit of a beautiful sentiment, in my opinion. And, yeah, it did, it did, well, uh, the minimum. So, yeah. Let's get into the episode, shall we? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, okay. Oh, and yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm very forgetful and blind and all, but this girl, this one, 
with the eyes closed. Yeah, I went to look at episode 2 again. Because I kept thinking it was the same one. But they don't look anything I like. <laughs> now that I, I'm so glad I went back. Yeah, now I'm completely sure this is uh, Lyos' sister. So this whole time I've just been confusing her with uh, what it seems to be just a background character. <laughs> my bad, my bad. For anyone who really likes her, now, now I know. Oh, it's the person with the uh, with the sword in the opening, in like the mithril-like armor. Now I'm pretty sure <laughs> my eyes are not deceiving me. Lunatic Magician Oh, is that Takahashi Rie? That sounds like her Okay, I did not expect at all to just be introduced to a completely new set of characters. I wonder if they'll... If they'll all survive by the time we go back to our protagonists. Why do I have a feeling that the night like character with blue eyes is the only one that's uh, going to be left alive from this group? Hopefully, I'm wrong.
Hey, we're back with this group. Oh. This is the way that we find out they didn't survive? That's anticlimactic. I just know that that character is going to be revived. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's Elias's sword, yeah. It's the... It's the thing that they ate in episode 3. Or was it 2? No, 3. Oh, oh those things must, must have been what killed that party. Marcel, get away! Did you not hear it? Oh, she's done for. Whoa! That was her? Uh, same, I almost thought it was. Uh, uh, you know, instinct. You liar. Why isn't he telling them about it? <laughs> Don't be mean. Hmm? What is Senshin doing? But is he gonna try and eat them? Or is he just, you know... Okay, never mind. He's dividing them. Uh, I mean, I was half right. <laughs> In what? Ugh. Huh? So weird. It's such a simple concept, but I've never seen a monster like that. For everything before this, I've, I've always been like, oh, come on, Marcel, don't be, don't be like that and just eat the thing. But this, there were bugs. I just, I just, I would be very hesitant. Oh. It looks very interesting. Yeah, it looks like you're eating gold. Oh. Mm hmm, I wonder why. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is the one time where I'm like, I'm, I totally get Marcel <laughs> hesitating. Ew. 
Ugh. Maybe. Why? What are you gonna try and do? Oh. <laughs> oh, that was such a funny image. Why the reaction? Kesuke, I got it. Like, I, I... Did I miss something? Why did Marcel and Chuck Chill react that way? Ghosts. Hmm? Oh. So that can actually happen? Just keep walking, Laios. You're gonna get, yeah. Get caught by a ghost. You were saying the exact same thing before. Oh. Quick thinking. Hmm. Random. Yeah, film, film in. Mm. Oh, it has to be kind of Hanasawa. Oh, oh. There's the character with the red hair and the samurai. What? So they had more people in the party other than Liza's sister. So they're characters that our people already know. I thought they would all meet them during the ad adventure. Oh! Oh, 
Stalin. Yeah. Mm, they're talking about her in past tense. But they can still get her back. Well, depending. Can you? I doubt it. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, there may be some truth to it. We don't have anything anything else, so I might as well try it. Uh, hurry up! We, Marcel and Chickchul, Chickchul, Chuckchul are in trouble. Lias too. Oh. Ah, uh, finally. We're seeing what Laios thinks about this. Yeah, he's blaming blaming himself. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, this was actually happening. Oh, wait, he can actually... Yeah, he's actually hitting them with the... with the jar? <laughs> Senshin being the MVP? Right. Mm. Mm, I like the way Laios took that. Mm. 
what is it? Huh. No. I. Huh. Okay. Sure. Sure. Don't worry about it. Senshin already tasted it. <laughs> okay, Lyos being the the poison tester. Mm. Just like that one time with the armor. At least for now. Mm. Laius. <laughs> mm? Ah, sure, yeah. Why are they taking it in such a bad way? Even you? <laughs> no, you said we shouldn't think like that. Uh, uh huh. Oof. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to her. But it's 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 definitely a little strange that you know she from what we learn now in this episode how essential she felt to the party uh before um she was eaten by the dragon. But I got to say that really hasn't felt like that was the case before now like it really felt like nah i don't want to be mean <laughs> because you know i barely know the character but it does feel like she wasn't needed until this point specifically for the ghosts And I'm sure I like her whenever she rejoins the party again. Because she has to, right? No way we're doing all this journey just to not get her back. Like, I know, you know, it's it's also more about the journey, journey than, than the destination. But, like, come on now. She's a part in the opening, the ending... And now that we're getting close to the middle of the season, they're, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> mm, uh, making a big deal out of her presence, or rather, the absence of her. Not just to the viewer, but also to the characters themselves, who hasn't, who haven't really been giving Valin the the attention that she might have could have deserved before like I'm not saying I wanted them uh, to be talking about failing for a good amount of screen time in every episode before this. But I would have at least liked a mention every episode. So that we would feel, you know, like, oh yes, uh, this journey started back again to get her back. Instead, it just feels mostly like, you know, this character's going around the dungeon doing silly uh, 
stuff and also just learning and um, uh, strengthening the, their bonds with each other. But like I said, family doesn't really seem like a part of the dynamic other than like <laughs> like we've been known because of episode one that she's Liza's sister and she was part of the group before but other than that we don't really know much about how Chuck Cho and Marcel uh, care for her and what the the extent of the relationship with each other was aside from like I said the beginning of the series I don't know it's a little weird like I said it went from starting the series and like setting up the premise of uh, falling uh, sacrificing for Laius and that's it we set up the premise and then <laughs> Uh, Falling, Falling who? <laughs> and then we get this this episode with a lot of focus on her. I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm the one who's uh, nitpicking, but it does feel a little weird because that's something that I've been wanting for a while now. Uh, like the stuff that uh, Laius thinks when. Uh, Session is using the the anti ghost jar. Like I've been wanting something like this uh, since episode two of him dealing with his like I don't know if to call it like survivor's guilt guilt uh, because you know she might still come back, uh, but it's something like that. And just, you know, definitely also just, just guilt. It should have been me, basically. And, mm, yeah, just blaming himself. Uh, that he should have been the one protecting her instead of the other way around. Like, I want more of that. But at the same time, I really like uh, just goofy lies. Uh, so it's not like I want him to always be brooding and not uh, be the, uh, <laughs> the silly guy that just wants to eat everything. I just want more balance between the two, basically. Uh, so, yeah. The, there was some cool stuff about how to deal with ghosts and the way that Fallen did it. I, I kind of want to go back and rewatch the scene later because I was kind of distracted by <laughs> looking at the other characters. Um, and I'm still thinking that somehow <laughs> the character with blue eyes in the beginning uh, it's either going to get revived or it's going to be possessed by a ghost and going to join the party. So that's also going to be a new character for us, the audience, but also for our characters that they don't know prior to episode one. So, yeah. Quite a, a, a good episode. Uh, but I, I'm a little mixed on it. But regardless, I'm definitely cool and I, uh, with them uh, doing more stuff with Fallen. Because I'd been wanting that regardless. I just wanted to know more of, of like, you know. Who is she besides just being related to one of the members of her group? So yeah, she seems like a, a nice, kind person. And just from the way that uh, Lies envisioned her at the end seemed to uh, 
understand what Laius what you know Elias wants <laughs> to say but doesn't know how to word because you know siblings they've been I'm sure uh, they've been together for a very long time so yeah that was my reaction to episode 5 of Dungeon Machine so if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe until next time see ya